Hey everybody, Yvonne here with the Monster Vlog and welcome to day 188 of a year of yoga. So let me get my mats rolled out here. Um, I've been working on getting my steps up all day and I'm currently up to like 6,000 but man, my legs, it's, my legs are killing me. Uh, my hips are killing me. So we're going to do some like hip openers and stretching and love for our knees and stuff today so thank you all so so much for taking time out of your day to come and be here and get some yoga on let's go ahead and ease ourselves on down to our mat well hey pretty kitty how are you doing today so that'd be better if you gave me a few kisses give me Um, Valerie in the week <laughs> or catnip perhaps <sighs> so let's pair our breath with our intention as we get started in some undulating cat cows today you can have your feet narrow or wide Just pushing back. I have my toes curled under to get a nice little bit of a stretch through my feet. And then arching my back towards the sky, leaning forward, inhaling, coming back, tucking my head in my tailbone towards the sky. Let's change direction. We'll scoot through up into cow. And then serpentine through into cat and then ease back inhaling forward and up exhaling curved back and back and now from here we can also let's come into cow pose so we're letting our tummies hang Tilting our tailbones up towards the sky, raising the tip of our head towards the sky. Inhale, and as we exhale, let's scoop around to the right, through cat to the left, and back into cow. Let me move my microphone. There we go. Hopefully that'll still work out well. Inhaling around to cat, and exhaling down to cow. Change direction. And let's go ahead and ease back into a really nice wide, wide kneed child's pose. And we can actually put our elbows on the mat if we want. And rest our chest against the floor if we're able to. These postures are always complicated for me uh, recording because that's right where my microphone is. And I'm always afraid of accidentally switching it off. So wish me luck. And so if you don't want to come down all the way, we can just come up onto our elbows. And I'm just very wide kneed, but not quite doing a frog pose just yet. And while we're here, we can actually do some cat cows. So this is actually really great for getting some stretching through our glutes and hips. So we can tuck our pelvis. And exhale with that anterior posterior. Poke in the booty. I can never remember. It's been 188 days and I still can't remember. <laughs> Tuck that tailbone under, curving the back. And my focus here isn't so much in opening up my back, it's in the tucking and untucking of my tailbone.
listen to your body here in this posture if you're having any kind of twingy uh, discomfort or pain. You can totally ease up out of the wide knee stance. Or you can narrow your knees a little bit and then bring your heels out so that they are right in line with your knees. This is coming a little bit more into a frog pose. We actually come up onto our hands as well to give a greater range of motion to that pelvic tilting. I'm going to widen my knees to the width of my widest mat, my bottom mat. And let's keep tucking. We can tuck and then actually ease back so that our hips are almost in line with our knees. You don't want to go past. I'm going to come up out of it. Hey, little girl. What you doing? Sniffing my microphone. I love you. <laughs> you guys not going to kiss in there. Oh. Let's come up off of our knees for a little bit. We're just going to shift into cobbler pose. Or bound ankle pose. I still don't quite have down the difference between those two. Do you find some old ballerine moves? She will wreak havoc. And while we're here, let's just hold on to our knees and rotate our head around, stretching. I hold on to my knees to provide resistance, but you could just rest your hands there and make your elbows nice and heavy and provide resistance. I love my kitty, my kitty tolerates me, me and my kitty are tenderly sweet, and she's a kitty, she's a meow, 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 oh, she purred, <laughs> keep stretching her neck out, And we can also, I'm going to hold on to my left ankle with my right hand and lean across, ooh, opening up my left side body as I extend my left arm over. And back in. Come on, back up grab our right ankle with our left hand and inhale and exhale reaching our right arm up and over following our hand with our gaze opening it trying to keep I'm not hunched over pointing my sternum at the ground I'm trying real hard to point my point my sternum at the sky but really you do you um, get to where you're feeling a nice stretch to your obliques and keep that leg pulled down with your abductor or adductor. I, think I really need to like figure out some way to be able to remember that the outside of our thighs. I don't know if she's in frame, but Emperor's doing a bit of yoga, cleaning her tummy <laughs> with us today. We're going to lean forward. I kind of I really love wiggling side to side in cobbler's pose like this, just kind of alternating, bringing one elbow to towards the ground and then the other. I can't reach right now because my back's real tight, but maybe one day. It's just kind of a form of reference of just, you can even just bring your elbow to your knees. And then you can start walking your fingertips out. Really stretching and getting into the taffy, the, where the muscle feels like it's joining to my sacrum. I don't think that's how it actually works anatomically, but that's where it feels like the stretch is happening is right across that sacrum lower back hip area. Let's widen our fingers and toes as much as we can. Ooh, and then squeeze them. Ooh, and have a cramp, but it's okay. And just wiggle, just wiggle those toes. You can even put your pinkies 
and then your ring finger, and then your middle finger, and then your index finger, then to kind of spread your toes a little bit. Kind of like, ooh, and it might cause some cramping, but that's okay. I really want to get my hands on some of those, like, toe spreaders or something to just, like, stick them between my toes and then be like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, like, slap my feet around the house like I'm a duck or something. But I, I think it would feel really good uh, to kind of counterbalance that confining of, even with the, um, I'm really enjoying my winter boots that I've been wearing as house shoes around the house. They're, like, off-brand Uggs. I'm actually going to put a block between my feet, you guys. You can put it vertical, you can put it narrow on its side, or you can put it even wide ways on its side. And just to get, and try it at each setting and see which way feels good for you. Because it gets kind of the same area, but also with it on the widest setting here, I'm really feeling it in my inner thighs as well. And I can press my knees down with my elbows. But I've been wearing these off-brand Uggs with Sherpa wool on the inside. And it's the first time I've ever worn boots like this that aren't like the $10 Ugg knockoffs from like Walmart that have just like the, the polyester batting on the inside. And that Sherpa wool, I have not had cold toes all winter. And it's like negative six outside right now. And we have a very drafty house. I'm really pleased with these boots. And even as going a size up and being very wide toed, my feet still just feel kind of cramped at the end of the day. But I've got wide toe duck feet, like wide toes, narrow heels. So it's always hard to find shoes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's set our block off to the side. Let's shift back around. We're going to plant our hands and our knees for a tabletop. Curl our toes under, though. Inhale and exhale. Push up to plank. Looking forward. Inhale. And exhale to downward facing dog. You can shift side to side to get deeper into one leg than the other. Maybe walk it out. Shake the tension out of your neck and shoulders. Shifting my left foot towards the center, I'm going to inhale. Right leg up. Kind of dip that foot back behind us. Inhale back up. Exhale. Coming through. Placing our knee kind of in between our hands a bit. And then shifting through the rest of the way to pigeon. You can use blocks here to bring the ground up to you. Looking up, let's actually raise our arms over our head if we can, supporting just with our legs and our core, and come on down, fold forward into resting pigeon or sleeping pigeon or pigeon pigeon. I like using a block to hold my giant melon head up. This thing gets so heavy lugging it around everywhere. I don't know how humans do this. <laughs> seriously like every day my neck is so tense and tired and I know it's not just because I've got like a giant melon head but <sighs> that's part of that whole self-care thing is trying to just mitigate the little aches and pains that plague us and figure out a way to be able to bear through them with grace <sighs> let me tell you what a hot water bottle in one of those um percussive style body massagers like um i think it's wall brand we got it at walgreens like a million years ago that's uh, my number one way for dealing with that especially after being over a computer all day
And we're getting kind of yin with it today, just really hanging out in this posture. So feel free to maybe tuck your toe and lift your back knee. And see how that might change things. And rest your knee back down. Let's wiggle our toes. Say hey, beans. Hello. I'm going to set my block back at the head of my mat. I'm going to place my hands in front of my shoulders. I'm going to inch forward just a bit. Get that leg back and under me. Inhale, planting my back foot. And exhale. Let's come up to plank. Inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling and bringing my right foot in. Exhale, lift that left left leg up, inhale, exhale, dip it behind, opening through that hip flexor, and the whole front of my abs actually, it feels really good, inhale, and exhale, back up to straight, inhale, and exhale, bring that knee between our hands, everything just snap, crackled, and popped on me, um, and come up into uh, pigeon pose. You can use a block to bring the ground up to you. Let's take a do a breath cycle at least with um, our arms straight up if we can. Just supporting with our legs and our core. And come on down. Holding over our front leg. Interesting pigeon. And just relax here. Listening to your breath as you inhale. And exhale through your nose. Let's tuck our back toes under and lift that back knee, if we can. And lower it back down and let's wiggle our toes. Inhaling, let's place our block off to the side, bring our hands in front of our shoulders. I like walking my back toes and knee in just a bit, it makes me feel more balanced. Inhale and exhale to plank. Inhale and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, walking hands back towards our feet. Mm. Doing a really nice forward fold. I'm actually going to widen my feet to the width of my mat. Maybe a little wider, turning my toes out just a bit. Inhale and exhale, come on down into a garland pose. Nice deep yoga squat. We can shift from side to side, just getting everything situated before coming to rest in this position. If you want, you can get your elbows on the insides of your knees and then kind of press and push open. I'm going to inhale, placing my left hand in front of my left foot. Exhale, rotating, raising my right arm towards the sky. 
following it with my gaze. Just looking at the clearing right past my head. Making sure to keep breathing as you're ready to come on down out of that. Just inhaling. Placing my right hand on the ground in front of my right foot. <sighs> Exhaling, lifting my left arm up towards the sky. <sighs> Exhale, come on back down. Inhale, let's place our fingertips on the ground or on the block. And exhale, pushing up through our heels and toes equally into a forward fold again. Let this be our deepest fold of the day as we inhale, coming up with a flatter back. Exhale. Let our head and shoulders hang. Micro bends in our knees to protect that joint. Inhale, bending our knees generously and rolling up. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale. Hands in prayer pose in front of our heart. Well, that was some pretty good yoga today, you guys. At least I think so. <laughs> it did just exactly what I needed to do. My hips feel nice and wrung out. I still need to get oof, at least 2,000 more steps today to be able to hit my minimum goal. 4,000 if I want to hit my maximum. We'll see what the evening holds because we still have so much work to do. And like everything that we do is sitting down. Ah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> we will see y'all tomorrow. And until then, keep on keeping on y'all. Bye. <laughs>